who's joining me on my walk today. Clyde's Pie's coming with me. He can't handle the whole bridge though, so I'll end up carrying him most of the time. But um, since I can't go all the way to where I like to go this morning since I don't have time, I thought it'd be a nice little treat for him. Right, Clyde Pie? You're heavy though. It's what I gotta get used to though, because Clyde weighs seven pounds. I'm like, figure that's that's about as much as a baby. I guess it's just cereal time. I just got a facial done. I had little, um, I don't know what those are called, when they're by your eye, and they're these little, like, white things that are filled, but they're not like a pimple. I can't remember what it's called, but I had, like, two of those, some, like, real red right there. But I feel good. I feel smooth, nice, and I got some really cute things I want to show you when I am not in. came to PetSmart without Clyde Pie because he needs some things, but he doesn't need to know what he needs. These are the things for Clyde. Trash bags for his poopies, and he loves these, and I love that they're made in the USA. <laughs> but I can't find the other treats that I he likes, that I didn't know he liked until Brian started giving them to him, and he liked them when he gave them to him. Oh my god. I found them. They were on the top shelf. They must be like really fancy stuff that he likes. Hold on. <laughs> There are these things with the wolf on it. How could he not like that? And you know when you're at PetSmart and they ask you like at the end, it's on the little credit card screen if you want to like donate. I Every time I ever see like donate on these little screens, as long as it seems like I'm an organization which I'm happy to donate to, which animals of course, but I always end up <laughs> donating the biggest amount. I don't, I like, sometimes I'm like, I really don't think I should donate that much, but I keep doing it. And then I should save my receipts, really, right? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to show you this now. It's a lion play mat. Dude, how cute is that? That's adorable, right? So the baby can just lay on there. It's really soft. I love it. And it's a lion like Clyde Pie. And then I got swaddle blankets those ones. I saw. I found some online that I think I'll order today also that have little elephants on them that are much cuter. Um, but I liked the gray. The gray motif was really nice. Plus I got a little discount. So yeah. I was on the phone with my hubby and I drove too far so I ended up at Target. Um, but I'll shop. I was hoping they'd have like the little kids hangers in like a blue or a nice green color. <sighs> I'm going to go to Bed Bath Beyond, like originally planned. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond um, for candles, and I wanted to get these hangers, but they didn't have like cute kids hangers here either, so everything I need for our baby, I have to order online. It's like, it makes me want to open a baby store, like strictly just baby store, because everything out there that I have found is crap, but you can find things. But you really have to search for it, and I would like to put all the good things in one spot. I should open a baby store. I got Chipotle for lunch. It looks so good today. Our yogurt with nuts. We did it backwards. Dessert first. <laughs> This is what the inside of a taco looks like. Brian's getting to eat the other taco and the chips and the case. Oh my god, the jalapenos must be really spicy tonight because I like could taste it when I breathed in and it choked me a little. Clyde, I'll give you a little beef. Not much though. Not much though. My outfit before my phone dies. I just put my medication on my wound. I got my usual jewels. I've got my top by language. And then um, these are my maternity jeans. so hard to get out of bed when you have a cute little pumpkin in bed with you. He's laying in between my legs. This is what he does every night. It just lays between my legs. Last night though, let's, there we go. We got it better. Last night he was cuddled up against my tummy. You were cuddled up against my tummy last night. It was so nice, Pumpkin. It was so nice. Come on, come to Mommy now. Let's wake you up.
up. <laughs> Come here. You don't want to get up yet, do you? Come on. Oh, you think we're going somewhere. This is my maternity pillow. I love it. But when he sleeps between my legs, it makes it difficult for me to use it. He likes it a lot, don't you? He likes the little bottom part. Yeah. Yeah. You are so cute. How'd you get so cute, Glidy Pie? You look like so fuzzy. Are you waking up? You waking up? You stretching out? Yeah. It's time we get out of bed, I think, Pumpkin. It's time we get out of bed. I'll lay with you some more if you want. <laughs> nope, he wants to go. You, why are you walk, looking away from me, Pumpkin? Are you done with me? That's not nice. What? What'd you hear? What'd you hear? Okay, I'm going back to bed. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. Okay, I guess you can lay up there. Oh, where are you going now? Where are you going now? Okay, what do you want to do today, Clyde? You tell me. See, here's the lion. Do you like the lion, Clyde Pie? Oh, you're going to get your dog smell all over it. I was thinking I'm probably going to have to buy two of these because Clyde is going to want one and then the baby's going to want one. And Clyde, I got the lion because it looks like you. Yeah, it looks like you. Are you putting your, your dog juice all over it? I wonder if I can wash this with your dog juice. You like it, don't you? It's sad because anytime I get these little toys and stuff for the baby, I think, well, Clyde might want it. Doesn't he look adorable? You love it, don't you? You love it. You love it. You're so cute. You deserve everything in the whole world, Pumpkin. You deserve it all. You deserve it all. It's so soft, isn't it? It's so soft. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ruin the blanket or the little play mat. The baby is going to want this, Clyde. I wonder if there's care instructions on how to clean it. It's really cute. I love it. Uh, new material doesn't say. I don't think... What? There's no treats in there. There's no treats. It's okay. I love you. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. I hope the baby comes out looking just like you. Yeah, I hope it doesn't look like mommy or daddy. I hope it looks like a baby cubby. Maybe we should name him cubby. Or Clive. Maybe we should name him Clive. So we have Clyde and Clive. Brian was craving cheeseburgers, so we came here and I got that. Some french fries. Let's show you your burger, baby. Open it up. Hurry. Hurry. This is pretty boring, but it's double cheeseburger. I got the little burger. And I get cheesy fries. Oh, and he gets... But you gotta show the inside. Yeah. Yummy. <laughs> Target time! It's super target! Brian, how do you feel? I feel great! How do you feel? That was like a cheerleading thing. I feel great! How do you feel? <laughs> We're gonna get another pregnancy test. It Just might to be twins. Sure. He tricked me. He tricked me. Come here, trickster husband. Come here. Come here. Come here, little... <laughs> Brian likes to pet my belly. <laughs> 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 
Okay, Brian, tell us what you f- what you feel right now. Too much stuff. He gets. Tell him what you said just a minute ago. Tell them. Woo! <laughs> okay, the toys make him excited, but what did you say before? It's annoying. What? He doesn't like it. Hey, someone explain to me. Yeah. It's like not a very flattering thing. Yeah, he needs that seat. Look at all the potties you can get. I like personally like this one. It's not cheering for me, Brian. And look at that one. Doesn't even exist. Someone stole the potty. <laughs> what the hell? Is that good for a kid to like have like that come out of the toilet after you go potty? Like, oh yay! <laughs> yay! This is very heavy. I expect my children to be potty trained by six months old. You're doing such a good job. These make me happy. Pajamas, woo! <laughs> Brian likes to slice his fingers open. Show your wound. Ew. That's really gross. So he needs some tape. Cloth tape. It's all wide stuff. Huh, I told you. <laughs> Look at these finger protectors. <laughs> They're really weird, Brian. Why would anyone need this? Where are you sticking your fingers that you have to put this finger condom on? You like <laughs> I got this order from Mini Bowden, which I'm really excited about. I was going to show you all. These are just two little swaddling blankets. Really cute. Um, just nice little patterns on them, which I really like. And then these shirts we got from them for only $12.99. Um, but for, I'm like really weird where I don't like brown. <laughs> so I, uh, I'm going to give this away to somebody. It's brown and blue. It's still cute. Um, but for some reason, I just don't like brown. I'm just weird. Brian doesn't wear brown either. I'm walking over the bridge right now. I feel like this is what like London looks like. Foggy. Not that it isn't pretty, it's just foggy. I could be completely wrong. But you always hear about the London fog. I like looking down at my belly because it looks the most pregnant when you look down. It's like when you have a little bit of chub on your tummy too. It's most visible to you when you look down, but maybe if you look straight in the mirror, not so much, but I like it. <laughs> and then I, it reminded me of something, but I can't remember what I wanted to tell you all now. It's a secret. Look at the fogginess. This is not what Florida is supposed to be. They're starting to put up the St. Armand's Christmas tree. I'll show you it in a couple days. I have my Starbucks. I got my tea latte. I'm walking back now. I was on the phone with my friend somebody honked at me, because you just get honked at if you're female and you're walking, um, but she's like, that is disgusting, don't they see you're pregnant, I'm like, they either think I'm pregnant, or they think I have a beer gut, <laughs> but I just thought that was funny, um, yeah, so I'm walking back home now. I was going to go get my hair colored, and then my hairstylist called me, and she's like, um, just said, can you come in a little bit later? So, I'm in my car and don't have anything to do. I'm hoping my friend calls me back, because I already talked to her today and she mentioned coming over, but maybe I'll just waste some money. <laughs> Sarasota's so fancy, we're getting a P.F. Chang soon. Oh my god. For lunch, I had this panini from like this local place that's really good, and I was going to save the other half for Brian, but... I've been wasting time and then I got hungry and it's uh, like turkey, it's like a turkey Reuben, um, but it's not like it was cooked deli meat, so you can eat cooked deli meat. And I had a salad with it earlier and there's, I got ordered an egg salad to go because their salad is so good. And then I went to Baby's R Us to waste some more time and I asked on um, my Facebook which is connected to my Twitter, what are some good things to um, buy for baby, unclothing related. Just kind of like, 
I don't know, I just like to know what everybody, like, some things they really liked having for their baby. But I, I didn't really listen to anybody. <laughs> I just, I will, I'll look at the list and write things down. But I, I got this, because I've always wanted to get this, like, the teething giraffe. It's very, tr very cool. I got these for my baby Bjorn. The little cover thing, spit up cover. Um, I got pacifiers. I don't know like people's views on pacifiers anymore, uh, but I got some, and I got the this little thing that hooks the pacifier onto the little baby shirt so that um, it doesn't fall on the floor. And then I got other pacifiers, these ones, which I think are really cute. But I read somewhere that um, that babies need to have that sucking motion or something like that sucking feeling even when they're not breastfeeding and whatnot I don't know so I would like to know pacifier still cool I think they are and I'm gonna eat my sandwich I've already told him but I got him a toy and he's really excited so we gotta I'll show you the reason I got it he doesn't because he has enough toys but he needs more toys but the reason I got this guy was because he looks just like the blanket that I got for the new baby. One moment. Got all the tags off. Clyde, it squeaks everywhere, too. It squeaks everywhere! <gasps> Let's see. Let's see his reaction. Do you like it? <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> oh, I think you like it. Look at his cute little face, Clyde Pie. He looks just like that blanket I or the little uh, play mat that I got. What do you think? Does he make you happy? I don't know if that's his happy face or not. How'd we do, Clyde Pie? Was that a good purchase? Was it a good purchase? Was it? I don't know. I, oh, I, he doesn't want mommy to take it away, so it must be a really good purchase. You need lots of toys, huh? And look at all those bones that we collect. These are, with this, I don't, Brian likes to give him, like, multiples of, like, these things when he doesn't need them. So, like, when I see things like this, I just throw them away. And then he's got another bone over there. Brian's like, you need to go buy Clyde more uh, dingoes today. And I said, oh, okay. But I didn't do that. So, I'm sorry, pumpkin. I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond. Do you like it? I'll throw him. Whoop. Good. <laughs> he's a little long. He almost tripped on him. He almost tripped on him. Good purchase, Mommy. It's only like 5 o'clock and the sun's setting really crazy. Yeah. Debbie's going to create an Instagram account. I think I already have that. Though. You do? I don't know. I, I don't know how to work it. I'll have to talk to Daddy. Okay. Well, do you know you have one or you don't have one? I don't know. Is it on your phone? I don't think it's set up. Cool. Oh, what a cute picture of Pete and I. Should I show them? Yeah. That's what I love. My little children. <laughs> It's not really focusing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Doo, doo, doo. Nope, it doesn't want to show. Let's see. You have 11 text messages, Debbie. <laughs> and then uh, you have Instagram on here. I know I have Instagram on there, but I think you still have to like fill it out. Oh, okay. Have Daddy do it for you. Debbie's going to have an Instagram, and we'll yeah. tell you all what her Instagram well, I is. Can, I could show my cats and stuff. And Here you I go. Wanted, there was, like, this really great picture of the cats yesterday. Did you on take it? Other. I tried, but it was... It was underneath, they were under here. Oh, and it and turned it, out too dark? Too dark, yeah, too dark. But it was the cutest thing. They were, like, just laying on each other. That's so I sweet. I a little too close to room for a cat. I'm allergic to cats. And plus, they're very feral. Then I think there's something bad about cats and babies. They can suffocate them? Something like that. 
I don't know if that's necessarily out. true, Obviously but... Obviously not, because you'd never heard of it happening to anybody, and a ton, ton of people have cats, right? Yeah. Clyde's been laying next to my belly at nighttime lately. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Sleeping right next to my belly. Really? Yeah. Does, I, does he take a Brian's place? No. <laughs> Both lay next to your belly. <laughs> no, I sleep on my usually on my right side away from Brian. Uh huh. So my back's to Brian. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm gonna ask you now. What do you think something is necessary that you should buy for a baby that you wouldn't necessarily think of? Um, diet. Uh, oh, something. <laughs> diet first. There, you need far less than you think you need. Well, that's what I figure when I go into Babies R Us today. I went in there, um, and it was just like, I'm like, you really don't need that much for a baby. And I kept walking down the aisles kind of trying to figure it out, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to get a stroller, a car seat, um, probably like some kind of like swing thing for the baby. Right. You don't uh, have to get the swing thing immediately, though, because you don't want to put a baby in a swing thing right away, right? I don't know. Uh, maybe. We did it. Well, I'm going to get a bassinet because I'm not going to get a crib. I'm going to just get the bassinet. Right away. You don't have to get a high chair right away. I'm, and I don't think I will get a high chair, really, for a while. Mm -hmm. And then what about, did you get another thing for them to eat in? What do you mean? Like one of those just little things. <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> that means. <laughs> it's like a little thing that they just, now sometimes people take their car seat in and out, but I don't think I could go through that. I could, because I want to get the stroller attachment where you can just stick the infant car seat right into the stroller. Oh, I see. Seems pretty nice. But then, whenever you're in the house, okay, say you're... I'm going to wear the baby then in the house and my baby Bjorn. Okay, and then you're going to feed it But then I'm going to need to put it in something like a, like a bouncy thing or a swing or something when I take a shower or something like that. That's the hardest thing whenever they're brand new. And you're by yourself. And you need to shower. And you need to shower. That's the most complicated thing I've ever had to do. Mm -hmm. Because you kind of want to wait till they're like sleeping or something. Yeah. They've been here all day. They have to um, fix something with FPL. And they can't get downstairs. They, they have to go down there. Where the cats live. Yeah. But they have to go down where the cats and the raccoons live and the snakes live and that sucks all the animals and they just keep walking back and forth i don't think any of them want to go down i hope they get paid a lot i said you're gonna have to suit up a little more than what you have on <laughs> you can't have your arms and stuff like there's a lot of animals down there well they probably have a kingdom down there it's, it's a whole group of animals that live underneath here I want to know what the thing was that you didn't need for a baby that you got that, like, you thought was the biggest waste of money. A crib. <laughs> <laughs> the only time, Lorraine, but what we made a mistake is that... We, I don't want the baby to sleep with me because that's my fear uh, is that it'll sleep with me forever. It will. It will. It will. <laughs> Once you do it, you're done. But I got, you, you know, you had a crib. It was real pretty. Everything was, like, perfect. And um, then we went on a trip to Bahamas or something, and you were still like an, like an infant, pretty young. And so in the room, they brought you one of those folding cribs, and the blank or the mattress was about that thick. And you so wanted to be in bed with us, and you were just crying and crying <laughs> and crying. So on the whole trip for like a week or whatever, we had to sleep in bed with us. So you can never get you me never back. You never used that crib again until then. Um, we then we took the crib down eventually when you were probably about one or so, and got you like a bed. Mm -hmm. And um, and then the only time you ever wanted to use the crib again was after Pete was born, and you were about three and a half. Yeah. Then you wanted to go into the crib. So because I hated him. There was this, so then we had a gigantic baby in the crib. <laughs> I hated him. Yeah, I know you did. You were so jealous. So I only have one child. I'm going to have two, but I'm going to have them really close together so that, yep, <laughs> just you wait and see. Down. That's crazy. I'm going to have them really close together. That's stupid.
I'm gonna have them really close together. That's too much. It's too much. Just wait. You'll see. Wait, if the ideal thing is to have them about five years apart. No, that's too far. No, no, no. Then it's, I'm not doing that. Then they don't fight. I don't care. They won't fight if they're close enough together either. They'll fight, but not like they would with my Pete and I's age difference. That was it. That was the worst. <laughs> that was three and a half years apart. That was the worst. I, I wanted to kill him. I know you. Well, I know you wanted to kill him. But what was the probably the most stupid purchase that you made, though? People like people have like opinions, so I just want to know. Like they say, baby wipe warmer. A lot of people say you don't need A that. Baby wipe warmer. <laughs> And I'm thinking, I don't really need that. We live in Florida. It doesn't get, a like... baby wipe warmer. You definitely don't need that. You definitely don't do that. And you live in a small enough place that you definitely but don't. But my... The wipes would never be cold enough, I think, in Florida. No. <laughs> what about a bottle warmer? No. You just bought on the microwave. I'm going to breastfeed for a little bit, though. Are you? Good for you. Good, good It's girl. empowering. It is. But I don't want it to ruin my boobs. I'd be fixed. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I would say uh, a warmer... You, you don't want a bunch of crap. You don't want a bunch I of crap. I bought... Some, what do you think of pacifiers? Mm, if... I think they're great. I, I bought mean, some. Pacifiers. Yeah. Um, they're very effective. For what? Shutting a baby up. <laughs> Shutting the baby up. The two most effective things for me was the pacifier and the swing. The swing. But I think back then you need a motorized swing, one that was battery operated yeah. or something. Ours you had to crank it and then whenever <laughs> it would stop moving you would wake up. And daddy used to just um you know he kept you in the swing I think all day. <laughs> You're lucky you don't have a spine problem. But then the baby Bjorn the thing that you put on the floor. Do you remember having that? I was thinking of buying one like, of those. One of those bouncy Yeah, things. that's what I was thinking of you buying. You sat in that a lot. You seem to like that. It's angled right. It's, it's, I think that's a decent thing to have. I'm going to get one. Yeah, I like, I like It's going to be lot. in the bathroom. They didn't, I don't, I think I had to order that from out of the country. I'm going to buy some Australian clothing for the baby. There's really cute Australian baby clothing. Really? U.S. baby clothing, not so much. Yeah, Australia is where it's at. Well, I want to order these companies for the store. I want to create my own baby store now. Now, seeing how difficult it is to find cute baby clothes, right. I'm going to order Splendid. For boys. Right. And girls. Uh -huh. But I'm going to keep it pretty even. Right. You, just, you can have a little section of baby things and, you know, mm -hmm. and, and have the right stuff. But these Australian be, companies... Well, you could sell things that, package form like so that this is what I found is the best I'm gonna set up a whole packing system you need this many onesies here you go with this with this and this is your baby style right and then you just don't have to think about it no nope. everything is so done it's like having a personal shopper for having a baby and then I'll be like how much do you want to spend okay you want to keep your budget under a thousand you want to go to five thousand <laughs> and I can make it happen and I can make, yeah and it, well, the thing is too, you don't want to spend, you don't, the one thing that I think people do that's wrong is buy baby furniture. Well, I was thinking like in our condo, do you really need to change a baby on a baby changer? Like, or can I do it? Like, what do I have to do it on? Like, do, can I do it on the floor? You can do it on the floor, just on a I like to, I love the, fl I love the floor. I like the floor. I like the floor. <laughs> My, my worst nightmare, well, on a baby changer, they're up, so you could easily walk away, and there is that little thing. Yeah. But, you know, you use it for how long? You want your baby to be, like, potty trained by the time they're, like... Angie and Rachel's daughters were both potty trained really, really young. And you were potty trained really, really old. <laughs> Debbie did everything wrong. I, I, I did everything. I bought, I bought every book every potty thing, every step stool. I bet you didn't buy any of those potties that it, Brian and I saw at Target. Every book. Do you push these buttons and they sing and stuff when after you go to the bathroom? I don't think that uh, <laughs> so they're all happy. Yeah. Maybe that would have worked, but everything I tried, it didn't work. I mean, I literally was sending you to preschool hoping you wouldn't wet your pants. 
you know, uh, okay, Lorraine, we're going to just have to try, like, you're going to be here for four hours, we just try our best to, like, you know, hold it for the four hours. Yeah. But then when you do go to preschool and you're, like, three or whatever, they do... Everybody extra, wets their pants. They have extra <laughs> clothes in your locker or your cubby or Yeah, because everybody wets their pants. Do they? I don't know. <laughs> Not a pee. I didn't have to do a thing. I didn't have to do a thing. Well, the only thing I didn't have to read to pee about it. I didn't have to do anything. I put a little step stool by the regular toilet. He didn't like being dirty, so he. <laughs> I bought, love being he, dirty though. There was no training involved. He did it himself. But the weird thing he did because he did it so young. Huh. He sat to pee. <laughs> well, don't all little boys sit to pee? I don't know. He just did, kept doing it for. <laughs> Until he was about 12. <laughs> He's going to get really mad. He still sits. No. <laughs> but but he, he sat to pee for so long that whenever I sent him to like daycare or whatever, the one girl that worked for me, Nora Bucci, she would like try to get him to stand up to pee because she had a son. And um, it, then she ended up being a good friend of mine and we worked because she worked for me for a long, long time. But they would throw, I think, like a ball or something in the toilet to get the boy to stand up and pee so that he would try to squirt the ball. I, I forget what she said they and, did. And then they'd take the ball out of the pee? I, I'm not really <laughs> sure. Maybe they had gloves on. I don't know. But I think they were so intent on getting the boys to stand to pee uh, that they were kind of embarrassed that they had all these boys like sitting on the toilet peeing. But he taught himself. There was no, um, there was, he absolutely was potty trained, like, way early. He walked it, like, the day turned nine months, and he potty trained himself really young. Yep. Yeah, so saved on diapers. Lorraine would, you know, as soon as Pete was uh, born, she wanted to start wearing diapers again. <laughs> she wanted her bottle back. She wanted her back. I'm just back. an asshole. She would just have a fit if you put him in a stroller that had been hers. Like anything that had been hers that you were trying to use on him, she would like just rip it away. That's why your kids have to be closer in age. I remember one time being in the mall and her just having a meltdown because she wanted to be in the stroller. And it wasn't, it was, we had two strollers, one heavier one and one lighter one. And this was the light one. Uh-uh. And like you were too heavy for it. <laughs> And it, but you, you just you're having a meltdown <laughs> that I wouldn't let you in the stroller. That's um, a nightmare. nightmare. One child is good. Five years apart, I think, is good because no. then it's like having another. No, sorry, they're gonna be like not even a year apart. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. That's sick. That's sick. You'll see. Don't do it. I forgot to show you I got my hair colored a little bit. I just got low lights. I just wanted um I just wanted kind of a different color, but I don't want to go drastically into it. Oh, and I got my hair thinned out cuz I have really really thick hair. And um and I just I I like thinner hair. Uh I if I could have thinner hair. Ugh. I would have thinner hair, but I have thick hair, so um, I got it thinned out, and when they did it, uh, it looked like literally like on the ground because of my hair, it looked like a clip-in extension, like a whole, like, what do they call it, a weft? Was that the right word? That sounds really weird. Did I turn on my car all the way? It sounds so silent. I guess so. Uh, but it looked like a whole like hair extension on the ground of just hair. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of hair gone. But it feels so much better being just a little bit thinner. I enjoy that. He drinks alone. That's pretty sad. People drink them by themselves. I'm very depressed, that's why. <laughs> sad and depressed. Our sushi boat. Wifey can't eat all this, but she can eat a cucumber roll <laughs> and a deep fried roll. Lesser for me. I can eat one of those ones. That one. Which one? Oh, that one. That one's the simple one. Okay, I can eat that one.